Welcome with us. This is a very quick one following the MU review that we just did. And this is about SQ. We talked about it in our morning podcast that we air every Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, we talked about SQ that it reached a bottom. Look at this daily chart and look at this. I like to draw lines in my chart and this is a line that was old support. See here was resistance. Now it became support and that's back in August. So basically what it did, it didn't want to get through here, it got through and now it's acting as support and then it went up. And what it did on the way down, what it did, there was a hammer here. Basically what it's telling you is it didn't want to dip any further because that bottom was bought and this is holding support pretty well. So let me zoom in on the current situation. I'll go to the hour chart. Um, hour chart, same line. This is the same uh, level at uh, 247.37. So basically um, we're looking at support. This is the hammer you saw on the daily because that bottom was bought, right? And it closed above um, the line. And then it's pretty much hovering on the line. And this morning, what, you know, what your risk is here is, you know, if, if we get under here, we may look to see if the hammer is still intact. And if we still find buyers at this level, and then we would shoot up. But if you guys like EMAs, SMAs, and all these fancy lines, well, I got one for you. I'll zoom in on this one. So basically you have my line, support line that I showed you before, that is here, that's right at the open. Basically it's opening on the line and it just starts to scream to the upside. And so this is the 50, the red one. This is the nine. This one is the Tima on the 30 length. And this one on top is the 200 EMA. Soon as we get above there, well, basically I was under the impression that all the lines were crossing. This is the one hour chart at the gate. Let me zoom in closer. Obviously I'm not trading on the one hour at right at the gate, right? So this is the five minute chart. This is what the open looked like, right? Um, told you about the EMAs. See all the EMAs, they're all together right here. And then we start to pick up. We're all above them. Remember today at the gate, SPY started there and it started tanking, right? And what is this one doing? Is it dropping like the rest of the market? No, it's holding and taking off. So basically I went next week because I, the potential for uh, SQ I believe was greater and I didn't want to um, miss out on the uh, more upside. But again, when you enter a trade, what do you look for? You look for a target because you have to know when to get out. And if you look at here, basically you have the wick. Don't, don't look at um, the, uh, the, the levels. Um, I'm, I'm using this as a, as, a, uh, as a line to show you the wick at um, 253.32. But this is the line that we were really looking at. See how it's kind of struggling. Let me get out of here for a second. This one, basically, it's having a hard time here. It rejected it and then it came down. What do you think is going to happen? As soon as we start climbing, this one will be the rejection and 255.64. Let us, let's get to the 
high of today. We're very close to that, right? So keep in mind that you need to have a target in order to get out of your trade. Otherwise, you'll be you'll just keep on um, holding forever and holding options. We don't have that lux luxury because time is against us, especially when you have close expirations. So there you have it. Um, this was similar to MU. However, we used uh, support old support lines and EMAs that are telling us that, oh, we look bullish on this one. Okay, hope you guys uh, are learning from this. And again, um, I really appreciate you watching this. Thanks.